Hi, my name is James Shepard, and today I'm coming to you from Out in the Field Selling Merchant Services, and I want to talk to you about field sales. One of the things that I have realized as I'm uh, getting back out in the field is that of the two words, field sales, I think that the word sales gets way too much attention. Um, the truth is that the field part of field sales is actually the difficult part, actually getting out in the field. Now, I don't know if you can kind of hear this background noise, but uh, today it is a rainy day. Uh, currently it's like 10.30 in the morning. And so it's a rainy, cold, you know, nasty day outside. And you know, I was thinking about some reasons not to get out in the field. Uh, one of them being shooting this video, <laughs> which is holding me up, but that's okay. Um, I'll get out in the field here in a minute. But um, you know, I really want to talk to you for just a minute about getting out in the field and really why it is so difficult just to get out in the field and sell. Um, again, the sales part, I really think for most of you, if you're watching this video, you're probably already passionate about sales and you probably already have some experience in how to sell. Um, I'll talk more about that in future videos. But uh, the big problem in the field sales equation is the field. So I wrote down a couple ideas I'm going to share with you today, okay? So um, the first one I wrote down is no accountability. And so I'll kind of share my personal experience. Um, so this morning, my wife, actually, Christina, she's a volunteer teacher at a uh, private school, a private Christian school. Where we have a scholarship program there. And so my wife volunteers as a teacher. She has her degree in secondary education, um, and she is very good at it. So she left this morning at like 720 uh, she took my uh, daughter and my son with her. Uh, my son was going over to a sitters and then uh, my daughter, Alana, goes to school at the same school where my wife teaches um, and she's in kindergarten. So uh, at about 7.30 in the morning, there was no one at my house. No one knew what I was doing. Uh, my business partner wasn't expecting me in at the office today because I'm supposed to be out in the field selling. Uh, and so many of you are experiencing that same thing every morning when you wake up. You try to get out in the field, but there's literally no accountability. No one knows what's going on. And I think that's why it's so important uh, to have you know a CRM database, to have things that you're doing to track what you're supposed to be doing and make sure that somebody is seeing those things. And so again, in my case, it's nice. I have a business partner that's able to uh, kind of keep tabs and he's going to see what I'm adding to the market platform, um, but you also need to have some accountability. You need to make sure that your spouse or significant other or a friend or someone that you respect uh, is kind of keeping tabs on you and knows what you're doing. It's very easy in today's world. Um, you can very easily just add somebody to your workspace in our marketing platform and they can see everything you're doing. They can even make comments back and forth. Uh, when I was on the field the first time, like six years ago. Uh, that's what I did actually with my wife. My wife was actually in my CRM database. And so I would like tag her back and forth. And, you know, we would kind of like you do on Facebook messaging, you know, we have that same kind of messaging in our CRM system. So I would encourage you, you know, go ahead and add your wife or your friends or significant other to your workspace in Podio um, uh, in our marketing platform and, you know, let them uh, kind of play along with you and, and see what you're doing on the field. That's, that's really important. So having some accountability is important. If you wake up in the morning, you have no accountability. That's one reason it's really difficult to get out in the field because you know you realize that no one knows what's you know going to happen if you do or don't get out in the field. Um, second thing I wrote down was distractions. Distractions. It is amazing to me even today after having spent years in the field, then spending years training other people to be in the field, how strong the pull of distractions can be. Uh, just now as I was finally leaving the house, I had to do a bunch of email stuff this morning and I was working on some training materials for our 20-day uh, jumpstart program, which I'll talk about in a minute. But, uh, you know, I was getting ready for all that. And it's so easy to just do that, you know. And as I was actually getting ready to go out in the field, it was amazing the pull of all these things. Uh, you know, I was like, oh, wait, I need to feed the dog and I need to, you know, go do this. I need to go do, oh, I should probably go run this errand. I should probably do this. Um, and, you know, if you're not careful, that kind of stuff can take up half your day and all those distractions and distractions. So what you have to understand is that getting out in the field, it has to be a priority. It has to be something that's important. Um, and so you have to have that priority to get out in the field. Uh, so distractions play a big part in it. Um, and then number three is no plan, no plan. Okay. So my plan today was I wanted to hit my first business by 11 AM because I wanted to spend some time working on my training outline and things like that this morning. You've got to have a plan of when you're going to hit that first business. Um, and you got to have some accountability to accomplish that. So you've got to have a plan of what you're going to do. Um, now what I want to talk to you about here at the end of the video 
and again, I've kind of got my, my trusty legal pad here, so uh, pardon me for looking down at that a few times. Um, but what I want to do is I want to talk to you about, I just finished outlining and I'm about to shoot the videos for um, day one of the Jumpstart program. Um, and so if you're not familiar with that yet, you can go to ccsalespro.com slash jumpstart and you'll see that Jumpstart program there, uh, some information about it. I'm kicking that off on January 4th. It's only going to be for our partner program subscribers. Um, and so if you're not a partner program subscriber, you're going to want to uh, go to ccsalespro.com slash jumpstart or ccsalespro.com slash workshop. And you can kind of see some of the things that we are you know, doing there for the partner program. Um, or you can email support at ccsalespro.com for more information. But I'm really excited about it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to share with you uh, a few things that I'm going to be talking about, and I'm going to kind of mention them briefly. For those of you that are just ready to get out in the field right now, um, I'm going to share with you some points that I had in my day one training that I'm about to shoot here out in the field. So uh, let me talk to you about what you need to have day one to get out in the field. Number one, you need to make sure you have business cards. And so I'm going to be talking about that in the Jumpstart program. And I'll be talking about kind of marketing, um, how you should market yourself, how you should brand yourself out in the field. Um, but I will give you a little tip. If you go to staples.com, if you have a Staples nearby, go to staples.com. You can order business cards. It's like I paid like $14.50 to get 400 business cards made. And I was able to pick those up the same day. That was pretty cool. So um, make sure you have some business cards. Make sure you complete our other online courses. So you want to go to ccsalespro.com and click on sales training courses. They're all free. There's five courses there that are free. Go ahead and complete those courses first um, before you get out in the field. That'll give you kind of that basic, uh, you know, baseline of confidence that you need. You're going to need more training than that as you get further along and that's what the jumpstart program is about but that'll kind of give you a good foundational knowledge of merchant services you know what a statement looks like you know these different things like that so make sure you complete the online courses um, understand your value proposition in other words what are you offering um, now I'm gonna be honest with you and just tell you what mine is right now so my value proposition right now is EMV compliance I'm, I'm providing these new uh, EMV chip card terminals but honestly my other big one is cost savings um, it's always been cost savings for me and so I'm gonna try it again I may change throughout the jumpstart program and try different value propositions but as of right now today I'm trying out the uh, you know, value proposition of cost savings and the uh, EMV terminals. So I'll let you know how that goes. Um, identify your sense of urgency. Now, I'm not going to share with you what mine is in this video. You have to watch the Jumpstart program to get more details on kind of different ones. I'm going to use different ones, but there has to be a reason why people should buy from you this week. You know, you want to have like no more than a five business day sales cycle time. So you need to have a good sense of urgency. Uh, you know, for me, for instance, right now, we have the holidays coming up, which is a pretty big deal. So, um, it, you know, it is hard to get people to buy right before the holidays. And so I have something that I'm like, hey, as long as you sign up and activate your account before this date, then I'm going to do this for you. And so there's different value propositions that you can do. Uh, but you got to also have that sense of urgency that's going to help them identify why they should sign up with you now versus versus just why they should sign up in general at any point in the future. So identify a good sense of urgency. Then the other thing you want to do is drive your street. So I did this yesterday afternoon. Um, I picked my street. It's uh, it's actually kind of a country street in a way, but it's got a lot of businesses on it. And it kind of goes between where I, I live back behind me here, back in the middle of nowhere. Um, and there's a street that goes kind of between where I'm at towards a city called Tyrone, Pennsylvania, which is also a small town. Uh, let me encourage some of you that have maybe experienced a lot of um, competition in your market. Don't be afraid to get outside of the big city. Don't be afraid to get into like a small town or even a road on the way to a small town. Um, it's still going to be competitive. They're still going to have a lot of people that have called them, but it's unlikely that there's been very many people that have actually walked into that business to pitch merchant services. So it kind of makes you a novelty. And that's what I'm counting on today. And I'll let you know how it goes tomorrow, but you know, we'll see. But I'm going to be on this street uh, going towards Tyrone, Pennsylvania. And there's probably... I don't know. I drove it yesterday. Probably about 50 businesses on it. A lot of auto repair type stuff. Um, there's a lot of other businesses, several really big companies that I'm going to just give a shot at. You know, I'm going to walk into and see what happens. Um, and I'll keep you posted on that. So, you know, drive your street. 
couple of things. Um, make sure you have your CRM set up. I'm using our marketing platform, and so I'm going to be entering my leads into that. So make sure you've got your uh, marketing platform set up. Again, if you need help with that, you can go to support at ccsalespro.com, and uh, we can work with you on that. You can email support at ccsalespro.com. Um, and that's really it. That's all I really had for today. Um, but I mainly just wanted to encourage you, if you haven't gotten out in the field, get out in the field. Um, I had an interesting conversation yesterday with the CEO of a processing company. Um, he's actually ironically doing the same thing I'm doing. He decided to get out in the field and see what it was like because uh, he hasn't been out in a while. And you know, we were talking about how funny it is because he got out there for like four hours and he got like three or four statements. Um, and you know how really the sales side of it really isn't that difficult. It's mainly just getting out in the field and making it happen. So my name is James Shepard. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, make sure you go to youtube.com slash CC sales pro to follow my progress on the 20 day jumpstart program and some of the cool things that we are doing. So I hope you have a great day in the field. I hope I have a great day in the field and I'm going to be sharing that with you a little bit more tomorrow. So stay tuned for more videos of me in the field selling merchant services. Thanks so much. Hope you have a great day.